How's it going? Welcome back. So uh, today I'm just like two days out from getting a surgery for on my, I'm going to do my right wrist and then in about six weeks I'll do my left wrist and my left knee. So it's going to kind of screw me on hunting season, but we'll figure that out. Anyways, um, so I need to get my chicken coop finished up so that way they're ready to go. I'm going to be limited on what I can do. Uh, so I'm going to make a my nesting boxes and my nesting boxes I'm just going to use milk crates so this is going to be my base of them I got a bunch of them left over from when I worked in restaurants and stuff so um, we're going to use these as our base so what I'm going to end up doing is taking this I'm going to square it off real quick but then I'm going to measure this out we're going to do 131 inches probably 132 just to give me a couple inches 130 inches will be enough for 10 of these um, so I'm going to end up cutting it out and then using rails. These are a little, I'm going to cut these in half again and just use that as my rail. So that way it'll be half of that. And then they'll end up like this. And then you'll have your board like this. I mean, you'll have that like that. So, um, and then, so I'll cut this down to 130. I'm going to get my front and back out of one 130 because I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to cut. I'm gonna rip this at two and a half inches, I believe. I have it all written down. So I'll cut this at two and a half inches. That'll leave like a half of inch roughly for the back side, which is fine because I'm gonna end up pre-drilling and just screwing right through this into my studs in the barn um, where the chicken coop is. And then the reason why I'm doing two and a half inches is because that's gonna give just enough lip to put in front of this right here. So it'll put like a two inch lip right here, which will hold their, it'll hold their nesting material in and it'll give them something to grab onto when they jump into it. So that's where we're at. That's what I'm gonna start doing. So I'm gonna jump right into it and get going. like this milk crates will sit on top of that same with this this will sit like this milk crates will sit on top of that and then this gives it a little air to get up so. So I need a, I need some, I need a strapping fourteen and three quarters there, one at the other end as well, and then uh, I'm gonna need it. In, uh, I'm not gonna do it in the back. I just need it in the sides, and then uh, so I'll do sides because then I'm gonna do legs up front, and the back's gonna screw into the back's going to screw into the studs. So I shouldn't need anything on the back for support because the front's going to be supported with legs. So hopefully that'll be the, that'll be the case. I'm going to cut a bunch of legs, like 10 and a half inches or so. So that way when I'm in there, I can move it up and down as needed to be able to level it out. Uh, that's my, that's my plan at least. So we'll see how that works out. So right now I need this to be 14 and three quarters. Yep, 14 and three quarters. So what I figured out down there was so I went ahead and I 
ahead and put <coughs> put a level. Use that. Got some screws. Got a screw gun drill. So I went ahead and took the stringer down there, and I went ahead and just made it flush with this one because that's what made sense in my mind. And then. Uh, and then I brought it up level in the back with this one. So let's see what happens. But that's, that's what I'm going to do again. So. I said six inches off the ground, but I think I'm going to get right around 16 inches off the ground. It'll actually be whatever 16 minus that, I think. Um, well, maybe I'll actually cut them at. I'm going to cut them at 20s. And that way it gives me room to move it up and down if need be. But I want to get it 16 inches off the ground as my plan. So I'm going to cut it at 20. All right, so I think I figured things out here. So for my front to back, so this way to this way, I'm gonna use this piece of all thread and some nylocks. It's gonna go right there, right in the middle-ish, and then I'm gonna pull it together where it needs to be, and then I'm gonna put my legs in. So I think I'll do that first, because that makes sense to me to do that first, and then, I will uh, do my legs, and so what I'm gonna do is all my my legs are taller than they should be. I cut them at 20s just to make sure, because I think I'm gonna actually end up using a 20 down there. But I'm gonna put all my legs in, and then once my legs are in, then what I'll end up doing is marking all my legs, doing one, numbering them one through five, take them back out, cut them, come back in, and put them back in for the final install. So here we go.
lot of screwed pooch in that one. Okay, let's try this again. Jackass. Okay, so I was leveling off of these and they're not even the same height anyways, like an idiot. So, I need to be leveling it off of is this. This will be close enough to a level height. So, we'll try this again. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was wondering why I was so far off. Okay, this is what we got after I fixed this. So we got this one here. So I've marked all these now. I need to go cut them. So there's that one, and then that one, and then there's that one, and that one. So I need to go cut them. Just debating. What I'm probably going to do is go cut two, come back. That way I can, I'll cut like the end one and the middle one, <clears throat> come back and then cut the other two. Or I'll cut the two small ones first and then I'll cut the end middle one. So that's my plan. So we'll be back when I do that. You know, one of these days you'd think I'd learn and I'd run two cameras instead of one, but uh, I didn't. So it shut off again because of the heat, I'm assuming, because it's close to this heat. I got part of it, so here's the rest of it. So I went ahead and put the tin on. We got our, our, we got our boxes in, tins up, overlapping over here. Um, apparently I didn't get quite the overlap on here. But that could also be just the the just di slight difference in the size of the tins too. Looks like I have more of a lip here than I do here, so that's probably what it is. Um, so I screwed the boxes. I put one screw in all the boxes in the back, and then I put screws through here. Um, I have to get ready to go to my doctor's appointment for my surgery. But what I'm going to end up doing is I'll come back through, and because uh, they're going to end up sitting up here and roosting on here, so I'm going to come through and cut these off. I'll cut this and then I'll bend it so that way it's really floppy and then hopefully they won't roost on there as much but even if they do it is what it is it'll at least just go over the side instead of all over the all over the nest boxes so that's all I really care about um, they haven't used this for their perch at all um, I had it the other way now I have it leaning a lot more and it's lower to the ground so we'll see what they do um, if they start wanting to use it then I will readjust it and actually I'll probably actually make it a little bit smaller um and then 
secured into the ground. So that's where we're at. Thank you for paying. Thank you for uh, tuning in on this one. And uh, we'll go ahead and call that one quits. And we'll check back in on it later. Um, we plan on doing some follow ups here soon, as well as uh, starting a new series of um, getting back to what I was talking about about in the beginning on um, getting into a little bit about uh, how I became a bully, also depression and all that fun stuff. Also, while I'm on, uh, while I'm out for, while I'm out for my surgery, I'm going to go ahead and be starting to get my merch hopefully up and running. So we'll, we'll get there. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.